Hi guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm gonna be doing something different than I've normally like done. <laughs> I've actually done like grocery hauls, but I've never brought you guys grocery shopping with me. So I just thought that it would be like interesting maybe to switch things up instead of just like going to the grocery store and then coming home and showing you guys what I got. Maybe going, bringing you to the grocery store, walking around with me and um, I can tell you about like stuff that I like to get and show you guys what I got like step by step and like how I grocery shop I guess so I don't know I just like watching videos like this and I'm really into like what I'm eating right now So I just thought that'd be fun to do something like this and see how it goes I guess so first things first I actually just went through my whole entire fridge like this is the first step of grocery shopping It's Monday, so my fridge is like empty I've used up all my groceries from last week and I kind of I just like went through and did like a clip a fridge clean out wrote down a list of what I got and tried to get like a little bit organized because I feel like if I go to the grocery store not organized like it's gonna be a shit show like I'm gonna not be able to like get any of the things that I actually needed I'm just gonna get like random stuff because I'll like forget what I like have and don't have so I made a list and this is my list right here you guys can like screenshot this or take a photo um this is just my list for this week so I have my fruit veggies some other things for juice my protein and my snacks so I'm gonna bring this to the grocery store show you guys actually what's in my fridge at the moment um, so this is what it looks like it's pretty empty this is just my bread that I have with avocado toast some leftover avo from this morning some grapefruit that I will finish tomorrow morning um, and then this right here is just some miso to make dressing so I have that and then obviously just have like a bunch of different drinks <laughs> so i have like no real groceries except for in here i have some kale and a uh, zucchini that i will cook up for dinner tonight and then on the side here i just have like mustard sauces things like that and over here in my cabinet i just have um some of the pasta that usually i eat which is just the organic green lentil pasta so i already have two boxes of that and then I have my brown rice pasta right here. So I don't need to buy those two things. I just want to show you guys that I have them and I don't need them. Yeah, we're going to go now. Um, this isn't my outfit. I just am like really into this type of look right now, I guess. Um, I just love wearing like oversized sweatshirts with shorts. These ones are from Outdoor Voices. They're just like workout shorts. I have on this Lululemon hat. These hoops that I just got from Jennifer Fisher. They are absolutely amazing. And then I have on my Yeezys, which are just these white ones right here. They're actually the same as these ones that I have, but they're just like white, gray, and tan. Just a more neutral shoe for the summer. So we're gonna go to Whole Foods. That's usually where I grocery shop just because it's convenient. And oh, before I forget, I always bring my reusable bags with me because in Boston, they actually charge you five cents for bags. So I usually bring these two with me. So the first things on my list are the veggies and this is the area for the vegetables at my Whole Foods. So it's just like right when you walk in. Um, and also I just picked up some hummus which was by the door and something I wanna show you guys is the ingredients in this one. Yeah, there's like minimal ingredients in this one as you guys can see on the package. And so this one I just found, I've never tried it before, but this is what the brand is called, it just says Good Neighbors. My camera like doesn't wanna focus in this lighting. So I got this one instead because it had like ingredients where I could pronounce every single thing, I know what every ingredient is. Um, so going on into the veggies, I'm just gonna pick out everything that I need from this area right here. Oh my God, this is the last thing of the organic celery. So I'm gonna get this. My mom always says to get organic everything that, unless it has like a, everything that like you eat, unless it has something that's like a lemon, has a skin over it. Um, you don't need to get it organic because like there's something covering the part that you're consuming. So unless you're like eating the whole entire thing, it like doesn't have to be organic, which I can actually leave. I'll leave like a list below. It's called like the Clean 15. Um, and my mom always talks about it, so. 
I need to get two cucumbers because I'm actually, I'm thinking should I get three or two because I want to be able to eat one and then I want to juice two of them. Also, the veggies just got my list wet so it's like running everywhere. Actually, I think I'm gonna get three. When I make a juice, I literally put a whole cucumber in it, so. This is what we're getting. Now avocado time. You don't have to get organic avocados since like you're not gonna be eating the outside, you just eat the inside. So, that's a tip. They don't have to be organic. This one feels good. I think I'm only gonna get two, just because I feel like if I get more than that, then they like get way too ripe, and then they get brown and go bad. So what is next on the list? Okay, we have the celery, the cucumber. I need to get arugula, spinach, baby tomatoes, red onion, and kale. So, actually I know we have to get ginger too, and that's over there, but I don't want to intrude, so we're gonna come back. Um, I need to get little tomatoes. There's so many to choose from, I don't know which ones. So I'm just gonna be looking for like whatever says organic which I think is over here. Yeah, organic grape tomatoes. Hmm. This looks so good. I'm also gonna get a papaya for later in the week. Wow, that one's big. I'm gonna get this one. And this week I'm gonna just pick up some arugula, some organic baby arugula, but usually I like to get this one right here, which is the 50-50 blend. It has baby spinach and spring mix. I love this for a salad. It makes like the best salad. But my mom just bought um, arugula last week and made me a salad with it over the weekend. So I'm really in the mood for that right now. And also I'm gonna get some organic baby spinach for my juices as well. And then also I wanna get some um, kale too. So I think I'm gonna get it bag of kale just because I feel like it's easier actually you know what I can just like cut wash and cut like the big pieces of it um, and I eat a banana every single morning so bananas you don't have to get organic you can just get regular ones so I'm gonna get this is always like the hardest part I feel like <laughs> trying to pick out like which bananas I like these ones right here Can you guys please look at how big this ginger root is? Like, <laughs> that thing is so big. Hmm. I was just gonna get a red onion, but these ones look like, I don't know. They're like freaking me out right now. <laughs> so we're not gonna get one of those. They didn't have any kale over there, which was actually weird, because I wanted to like buy it um, and then cut it myself. So I guess I have to get this if they have organic. This is fine. I'm gonna get that. Um, so anything else I need over here? I actually might get zucchini noodles for dinner one night. It's a good idea. And then also I was gonna get some mango because I'm obsessed with mango, but they didn't have any mango that you could like cut yourself. Um, they were all like rotten and gross. I tried to get like a full mango because I've been trying not to buy like the pre-cut fruit but they literally didn't have any so I have to settle for that. Okay, so I pretty much got everything that I needed off of this side. Got all my fruit, got all the veggies and I got the lemon and ginger. So now that leaves the non fruit and veggie side. So I'm gonna leave this section and what I do when I grocery shop is I actually only shop the perimeter of the store. Because if you think about a grocery store, while well, when you're looking at it, like you know that like the veggies and fruit are when you like walk into either the left or the right, and then they have like the meats and all that stuff. Like the more natural food is on the outsides, and then like the aisles where you get lost is literally all of like the processed foods. So my mom taught me to always shop the perimeter of the grocery store. So that's what I'm doing but this line's actually kind of long. I'm gonna get some salmon, so I might honestly come back. Um, so I'm gonna go grab some eggs and then maybe get these. So I don't have to wait, because it looks like there's only one guy working right now. 
And I'd rather just like get everything I need instead of like standing there. And for eggs, I'm just gonna get these ones right here, just six of them, because um, I'm not gonna be eating them every single day. But I just get the free range eggs that are organic. My mom always says to get free range because that means they're not like trapped in like a little small area eating whatever they feed them. They get to like roam around and like do their thing and like live a good life. So I just get those. So I got eggs. Um, now I need rice cakes, Mary's crackers, chocolate, and then my favorite water. So we're gonna go get chocolate right now. And this is my favorite chocolate that I get. I just got two bars right here, and I know you guys are gonna like freak out over the price. They're $7.99 per bar. But when you look at the ingredients on the back, I've talked about this before in a video. So for example, this one right here is just the simple dark chocolate. The ingredients are organic cacao, unrefined organic coconut sugar, and organic fair trade cocoa butter. So there's literally three ingredients in it. Um, that's what makes the chocolate, and I get this one too, the crunchy mint. It's like my other favorite, so I just am getting the regular and the mints, and they just have like no ingredients at all in them. Um, versus like getting obviously a candy bar from like CBS or <laughs> anywhere like that. All the stuff in it, like you literally don't even know what's inside of it. That's like another thing that um, I've been trying to do is just like get obviously pure whole like foods because like all these added ingredients and stuff. I feel like since I started eating this way about a month ago, like I can literally see a change in like everything, like my mood, the way that I look. Everybody's been telling me that like they think that I look like I'm glowing. I swear it comes from like the inside, you know? So it doesn't matter like what you have like on the outside. It truly like comes from like within, you know what I mean? Um, so like, I don't know, I just think that like making sure that you're eating like whole foods and nothing processed is really going to be like beneficial, especially because like it all starts in the kitchen, the way that you look, the way that you feel, and I feel like that's something that people like sometimes forget, and I just think that it's legit, I'm losing the person is staring at me right now, in the grocery store, and it's so annoying, like 2019 people, but anyway. Um, I can actually talk about this before when I get home, so I'm not like doing it right in the middle of Whole Foods, but that's basically like, yeah, we'll talk about it when I get home. I still need to get salmon though, and then rice cakes and crackers, and then we're out of here. And these are one of the only things I will get that's like packaged, they're the Mary's Gone Crackers, and look at the ingredients right there. So you can like pronounce all of them, they're perfect with hummus as like an afternoon snack, or you can even um, use like an avocado. So those are like my favorites. Also, I've had the jalapeno ones and they're so freaking spicy. So <laughs> if you guys don't like spicy, don't get those ones. But I'm gonna try these ones right here, the black pepper. I haven't tried them yet. Usually I just get the original and I know my sister gets the everything one, so. Those ones are two good options. Now I need rice cakes. These ones are my faves just because they're so thin. Like look at them. Oh, they're so like thin and crispy and I love having like four of them with hummus and some cut up cucumber, um, salt, pepper, a little bit of red pepper flakes. It's like my, one of my favorite snacks. And then last but not least, my water. This is my favorite sparkling mineral water because I drink like regular water all day but sometimes you just need like a little bit of sparkling water and I used to drink my mom would always buy like cases of the this one right here the San Pellegrino when I was growing up so I'm like we've always been been like big seltzer water or like sparkling water drinkers um, but this one has a bunch of minerals in it that your body is lacking so it's good to get your minerals in with this water and also this water is naturally carbonated so I feel like it doesn't it's the only sparkling water that doesn't make me feel like uncomfortable and bloated so that's why like another reason why I love drinking it so much so now that we're done we can finally go and get some salmon and they it looks like that they don't have any line right now which is good too <laughs> But I'm awkward to film in front of the guys who work here. Um, so yeah, mom teaches me so much about fish. And when I was with her over the weekend, she taught me. She was like, Maggie, you should really get wild salmon. So I usually just get this one right here, which I just read in really small writing at the top, responsibly farmed. I was like, oh, $9.99 a pound. 
then I was looking and I saw the wild salmon. It's freaking $34.99. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, no thank you. But I just go to the fish area and ask them for like one serving of salmon and it's $4. So, oh, now we are done. That is everything that I buy at the grocery store starting in the week. And I think before I go, I'm gonna pick up one of these curries. I actually love yellow curry, but I kinda wanna try the green. I just like need to read what the difference are between them. Uh, but this is perfect for like a dish that you can make that will last you two days. You can just make some veggies and white rice and then put this all over it and like make it all together, warm it up and it's like perfect. And also the ingredients are really clean. And I obviously order Thai food like all the time, so I just want to try to like make it at home when I can, um, just because it's a lot better for you. So I think the main difference between these is just the spices, and I'm scared to try the green curry, so I'm buying another yellow. Because we're gonna have that this week for dinner, and now I'm done. I need to get out of here because it's almost five o'clock, and it's when like the people start running in after work. So I'm gonna check out and go home and I'll talk to you guys in a little. So just got home, I'm gonna unpack everything um, and put it away and then probably go work out before I start dinner, which I'm just gonna have some salmon, roasted Brussels sprouts, and then an arugula salad. But I want to talk about these two teas right here, which I also get from Whole Foods. They are the Puka brand teas and we have the ginger and the detox. So the ginger is what I have after I eat dinner. I'll usually have the ginger along with some chocolate, the ones I showed you guys. So this will just like really help satisfy me after I have a meal and then before bed every single night I have a detox tea which is going to just reset your body and get it ready for the next day. And detox teas, detox teas, are so important because they literally cleanse your inside and they cleanse your liver. So they actually help reduce sugar cravings. I used to crave dessert and sugar like all the time and I don't anymore because honestly I just started eating like super clean and like being conscious of what I'm putting in my body and having my detox tea, like all my teas. Now I have like a good routine I feel like and I'm nourishing myself like in the right way. So yeah, anyway, I just wanted to end off this video, I guess, because you guys already saw everything that I bought from the grocery store and that is that. I don't know what I'm gonna do at the gym today. I honestly might just do like a leg workout, which I have like workout videos coming I'm gonna do maybe like a week of my workouts and then also have like this really exciting video planned with you know what I'm not even gonna give you um, it'll like give it away if I talk about it so anyway I'm just gonna end off this video um, I hope you guys enjoyed it I know it's kind of like all over the place honestly I was just like I'm going to the grocery store I want to vlog it and instead of like putting it in a vlog might as well just like do its own vlog so like if you don't want to see me go to the grocery store and you don't care then like you don't have to watch like a whole video with it in it, you know, so I don't know I, Maybe we'll do more of these because I do get different things every single time I go and yeah, so That is that I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, Make sure you are subscribed if you are not follow me on Instagram I'm always posting stories of like my meals and stuff I also have a health highlights on my profile just because I'm really getting back into like my health and stuff and it feels so good and I want you guys to be able to do it too because everyone deserves to like feel the best you know and yeah so I love you guys thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one bye